Let's start with um, the very one, the one that's at the very top there, CH4. We're going to go through all of the steps. So step one, central atom. Which is my central atom in CH4? Is it the carbon or hydrogen? Carbon is the only unique one, so it must be carbon. I now have to add up my valence electrons. Okay, so carbon has four, and I have um, four more from the hydrogens. Hydrogen only has one, but I have four of them. So I have eight valence electrons total. Okay, now here's what I'm going to do with that number. Uh, I'm going to put it somewhere where I can't forget. So I'm just going to put it right up here. I need eight electrons. Okay, now to start with, I use single bonds in order to draw this. Okay, so I should start with just single bonds like this. Okay, use single bonds. Count your electrons and check if all atoms have a duet or octet. If not, move on to step four. Okay, so look at my hydrogens here. How many electrons do my hydrogens have? They have two, two apiece. How many do hydrogens want to have? They follow the duet rule, they want two. So, so far, so good. What about my carbon here in the middle? It wants eight, and it has eight. Therefore, I'm totally and completely done. It means that this is the correct Lewis dot structure for CH4. Okay? So, just following through the steps, that's the correct Lewis dot structure. Let's do the same thing for H2S. Okay, so for H2S, what is my central atom? Hydrogen or sulfur? Sulfur is the unique element, so it must be sulfur. Add up my valence electrons. Okay, so hydrogen uh, is only one, but I have two of them, so I have two. Sulfur is six, so I again have eight valence electrons. Okay, so just like before, I'm going to put it in a place where I can't forget it. So I'm going to erase that. I'm going to put it right over here. So I need to have eight electrons by the time I'm done drawing my structure. Okay, so sulfur goes in the middle. I have single bonds drawn to the side. Okay, so it says use single bonds to connect the central atom. You might be done. Count your valence electrons. Okay, so I've got uh, two around this hydrogen two around that hydrogen, so so far my hydrogens are fine. And then sulfur only has four, but it wants eight, okay? So I have to move on to step four. Add electrons to the outer atoms. You might be done, count your electrons. Okay, so notice, because they are hydrogens, I cannot add any more electrons to them. That means I have to go on to step five. Add electrons to the central atom. Okay, I can add electrons to the central atom. I can add four more electrons to that central atom. Guess what that does? Check and see, I now have eight valence electrons around this sulfur. That therefore means that I have duets for my hydrogen, I have an octet for my sulfur, I am therefore done. It means that this is the correct Lewis dot structure for H2S. Okay, so let's move on to HCl. So take a look at HCl. What is my central atom? I don't have one. If I only have two elements, it would be the equivalent of, you know, if let's say I have this as an element, and then this is a second element. The bond that connects them together, there is no central element. If I flip this around, it looks like a smiley face, but if I were to flip this around, I still wouldn't really have a center. I wouldn't have a central atom, okay? So it really doesn't matter. I move on to step two. I have to count my valence electrons. I can do that. Okay, so I have hydrogen. That's one. I have chlorine. That's seven. That adds up once again. You see a pattern here? That adds up to eight. So just like before, I'm going to put it in a place where I can't forget. And then I'm going to start off with just a single bond like this, HCl. Okay, use single bonds, and then it says count. Might be done. Take a look. Hydrogen, yay. Hydrogen has a duet. Chlorine only has two electrons, though, and it wants eight. So I have to put remaining electrons somewhere. Move on to step four. Add electrons to the outer atom. Okay, so am I going to add my electrons, these extra electrons that I need to add, am I going to add them to the hydrogen, or am I going to add them to the chlorine? 
I have to add them to the chlorine. Why do I have to add them to the chlorine? Because hydrogen can only have two electrons, and it's already totally happy the way it is. Now notice, I have eight electrons around this chlorine. I have eight electrons. I wanted eight electrons. That means that that is the correct Lewis dot structure for HCl. Or again, this is the correct Lewis dot structure for HCl. Now, those were all very simple examples. None of them involved double or triple bonds. Okay, so now let's do two examples that involve double or triple bonds. Okay, so these are our two harder examples, CO2 and N2. I know they don't look very different from the ones you saw, but when we go through the steps, you'll realize why these two are a little more difficult than the other ones. So CO2, I need to find the central atom. CO2, carbon is the unique element, therefore carbon must be the central atom, okay? I have to count my valence electrons, I can do that just like before. Carbon, that's four. Oxygen is six, I have two oxygens though, so that's 12. All right, so if I add those together, I need 16 electrons, okay? So I'm gonna put 16 over here in the corner where I can't forget, and then I'm going to continue. So step three, use single bonds only to represent the connection between these two elements, okay? So right now, I have my single bonds. Check and see if I'm done. Oxygen only has two electrons around it, so does the other oxygen and the carbon only has four. So I know that can't be, I can't be done yet. I know that I have to continue. So I have to move on to step four, okay? Add electrons to the outer atoms. You might be done, check and see. Okay, so currently I have four electrons. I have to add more electrons to my oxygens until I get to 16. So right now I have four electrons. I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I can't fit any more on that oxygen. 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, it says you might be done. Let's take a look. This oxygen has eight. This oxygen has eight. Yay! The only problem is the carbon, as you can probably see, still only has four. So what am I supposed to do? It says step five, add electrons to the central atom. You might be done. Okay, wait a second. I already have 16 electrons. I can't add anything else to my central atom. Hmm. Okay, so I, I've added all of my electrons that I possibly can add, and I can't add them to my central atom. So what am I supposed to do? Well, it says, move on to step six, make a double or triple bond. Now, how exactly do we go about doing double or triple bonds? Hmm. Well, it says we have to erase a pair of electrons Okay, and then it says that we have to add them as if we are sharing them to uh, the central atom. Okay, so I can erase any pair of electrons I want. For example, I'm just going to erase the pair of electrons right there in the bottom left. Now, what do I do? I make that now a double bond. Now, what did I just do? That means that now my oxygen still has, as you can see here, still has eight. And now my carbon has six, so I gained two more um, electrons shared between the two of them. That's good. Now I'm going to have to do the same thing again. So I can pick any two electrons. This time I'll pick the bottom ones here. And then I do the same thing again. Now notice, this oxygen still has eight electrons. Nothing has changed. But what has changed now that I'm sharing them is my carbon now has eight electrons. So that means that the correct Lewis dot structure is the following for carbon dioxide, for CO2, okay? Uh, remember, I could have erased any pairs of electrons I wanted as long as I'm consistent. So that is the correct Lewis dot structure for CO2. Okay, so let's move on to the more deceptive one, N2. Looks deceptively easy, but not exactly. So I have to look at my periodic table, and I have to figure out which one is my central atom. Just like before, if there are only two elements, I know that there is no central atom. So what about step two? Valence electrons. I can look at my periodic table, and I can see that one nitrogen would be five. So if I have two nitrogens, that would be 10 valence electrons. So I'm going to put 10 over here, and I'll erase that. Okay, so 
let's start by putting a single bond between just our nitrogen atoms like that. It says I might be done. That was step three. Um, I'm not done because nitrogen wants to have eight, and right now I only have two electrons shared between both. So move on to step four. Add electrons to the outer atom. Okay, I can only add ten. Right now I have two. That's the single bond. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It didn't matter where I placed them as long as I just put them um, around my nitrogens. Okay, so look at this nitrogen. This nitrogen looks like it has eight electrons around it, good, but the other nitrogen doesn't. So I have to somehow get uh, this to have eight electrons around it. This poor little nitrogen needs eight electrons. I can move on to step five, add more to the central atom. I don't even have a central atom. How am I supposed to add more electrons? I already have 10, so I can't possibly add any more electrons to this diagram. Okay, move on to step six. Make a double or a triple bond. So remember, just like before, I can erase a pair of electrons, like I just did, and replace it with a double bond. Notice what that does. Now, that nitrogen still has um, eight, this nitrogen now has six, so I'm getting closer. If I do it one more time, I now have eight electrons around this nitrogen. I have eight electrons around that nitrogen. And I did that by only using 10 electrons. Okay, if I count them individually, I'll highlight them with blue. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It worked. Okay? So, make sure that you copied all of that down. If you have any questions, feel free to bring them to me tomorrow. Otherwise, that is our introduction to Lewis Dot Structures.